Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today I'm going to Nazir Daf Samach Vav. We're going to begin on the bottom of Samach Hamid Bays by the Mishnah. So the Masnisan tells us the Shiva Durachim Boykinis Azov. That in seven different ways <coughs> we examine a person who is a Zov. And the reason for this is that if there is an Ones, then we do not say that that Toma actually is applicable. And this is only Anshul Niskak Laziva. It says Mafarish, Anshul Rabbez Rios. Provided he hasn't seen already twice. So what are these seven ways? Bamaichel, did you eat? Shtia, Mishnah. So maybe because you ate or drank so much, that's what caused you to have this emission. Bamasa Bekfitza, you were holding on to something heavy. You're lifting it, or you're jumping because of sickness. Or if a person saw uh, something, and he got uh, afraid because of what he saw, that's considered to be an oinus. And that's how it's explained in the in the Mepharsh. Because the Pasuk says, <coughs> as quoted in the Gemara in Nida, it says, If there's an oinus, and these seven ways are considered to be oinsim, the din is that it will not, we will not say that it counts toward his potentially becoming a zov. So on this, the, Gemark, the Mishnah continues and says, however, mission niskak laziva in bait can I say. If let's say he's already seen twice, so now at this time we no longer will say there's any chiluk, the din will still be the same, even by an oinus, and he'll become Tame, like he saw it a third time. So Gemara then says, So this is another case where we find the concept of Raglayim Ladavar, that it's understood that these cases that he saw probably was not a, an oinus, um, in the case of a doubt, or if he saw Shech Vazera. We say all these cases, he's going to be Tame Ziva. And as the Mafarsh says, the Yashul Hem Beloy Sechsuchi Ziva. There must have been some Sechsuchi Ziva mixed in, which made him Tame. And then we have another case, which is seemingly unrelated, but it's another case of Raglaim Ladavar, which is going to be question six. Il Gimel Dinim Nasnubahem Ta Mishum Raglaim Ladavar. So the one we just mentioned. Is again a Zav who already had seen Ziva. He's not, we're not boydik him because it's Raglaim Ladavar, Shaina Machmas Ainsai. So Hamakes Chavero, let's say someone hits his friend really hard, Diamdu Misa, and they assessed him that his, this man's going to probably die. However, Hakel Mamasha Haya Leachmikan Hichbin Umeis Chayev. If let's say he got healthy again, he got a little bit better, and then all of a sudden he died. So we say, Yerchai, because probably the reason why he died was based on his original hit. According to Mechemi, he says this great chiddush that you're going to not be chayim because he probably was already sick. And with the fact that we see that he was getting healthy, now that he died, it's not related to the original blow. Okay. So, So ask the Gemara, how do we know that this, in fact, is the the, is the is the din? What is that? Says the the mafarish, the mission niska klatoma ziva. That once, let's say he's already seen a couple of times. Shuv in boy gnosa. We don't do any more bedikas. We just say that's it. He's tame. So how do we know this? I'm Ram Nasan, Omer Kra because of the pasuk, which in its entirety it says vahadava benidasa. When it comes to the flow of a woman who sees dam nida. Or Zav who has this flow, So what do we learn out from here? The fact that the Pasuk says, So we say regarding the third vision, the third time that it's seen, it's hekish, it's compared to a Zav. To a neke, to a nekeva, says the mafarsh. Ozach nekeva, achas sheomer hakasev shte zivos. It says zav and then zovo. So the fact that it says that it's hikas hakasev zach nekeva or reishlishes. 
A woman is going to be telling me if she sees even minus. So I have a Even if, let's say, he saw the third time was minus, since he saw two times without an minus, have a tummy of mycy carbon. He still has, he has seen now three times, and therefore he has to bring a carbon. So therefore the hekish to a nekeva is, this is question five, hazava zaivo, though my hilchas a hukas double zava. So the hekish is that when it comes to, just like nekeva is matamba ba'inis, so too this man is matamba even ba'inis on the third time. Now, is it the third time? Vosanya. The truth is that you're boidic even the third time. So we see it's a machlokus whether you're boidic the third time, but definitely not the fourth. Ella be'esim k'mifim. Your belezer darsh esim. Rabban lo darshi esim. So the fact that it says vazav es zayvoi. The question is, do we use the s as a drasha? Says the mafarsh. Hazav chada s tarti zovu tlasa. Is that the word S? Is that like a separate one, a separate sighting? And therefore, Vias is Kish in the cave with the Tuma Field Vinus. It's only the fourth time, or we don't darshan the S, and therefore it's two times that you're but not the third time. So after he's or, he's or, you've already seen, <coughs> it doesn't make any difference, he's going to be Tummy. As we continue, Samach Vav of it off. Omarav, Lo Tema Suffolk Chaza, Suffolk Lo Chaza. Don't tell me. This suffix that we say um, is a case of whether he saw it or not. Elvadi Chaza. He definitely saw. The suffix machma shech vazer, suffix machma zriya. He's not sure what it was that he saw. Kivan deniska kotoma svekotame. But since he already has the status, so we say suffix tame. So it's not that it's questionable whether he saw. The question is what he saw. He definitely did see something. It's not like he did something. Was there any mission? No, the question is, was it Machma Shikva Zera or not? Or was it Machma Sriya, and therefore it was an Oynus? But he definitely saw. Shikva's Zaro Tamea. So, Lamai, what exactly did that mean that he saw Shikva Zera? Ile Mulamaga is referring to someone who touches the Shikva Zera. So, Migar Mishikva Zera de Tahar. If Sheikh Vazara comes out of even a man who is Tahar, it's not going to make any difference. A person who touches that um, Sheikh Vazara, they'll become Tame also. So it doesn't really matter even if it's a Tahar person. El Wazara Shulzama Taba Bamasa. When it comes to <coughs> the Chilik of a Tahar Tami person, Sheikh Vazara will, will be Mataba Bamaga, but not Bamasa. But over here, if the person is tame, it will also be matama through masa, through someone carrying it. So man shem al hadi amar shech vaser shol zamataba b'masa. Who's the one who said that shech vaser is even tame carrying? Ilei mahaitan nesani belezer oyim shech vaser shol zav in a matamba b'masa. He says it's not. Rabbi Yeshua oyim matamba b'masa. It is matamba b'masa. Lafishi yesher lo b'lo sechsuchi ziva. It's impossible that there's not traces of ziva in it. So therefore we see, uh, like Rabbi Yeshua, that holds it is Matamba Bamasa. Now, you, uh, but that's not really true, because <coughs> if you Rabbi Yeshua Omar, El Mishum Ziva, of the Ain Omar, he's only saying it because in the Sheikh Lazera, there also is probably traces of Zav, of Ziva in it. But if somehow it, it wasn't, the Sheikh Lazera by itself is not Matamba Bamasa. So that's not <coughs> someone who could support that. Ella Omar Rav Ada Barava Loimer Shein Toilunba. That Shein Toilunba. What does that mean? Says the Mafarsh. My Hadi Karma de Shekham Zer Tame, Loimer Shein Toilunba. Dul Acher Sheniska Kotuma. Once this person has already seen a couple of times, Imra Kari, we saw Kari, Vraziva in Oisa Ziva Kikari. We say that Zav is not just like Kari. Ra Kari in a Matama Baziva Koma Ace La Ace. The din is that someone who sees carry is not matama ziva uh, within that twenty-four spir- uh, hour spirit uh, span of time. Wilkin Tysis, heroic carry ain't matama ziva ace. 
The the carry will potter any zav that come ziva that comes afterwards, the first the next twenty four hours. Of a mishiniska kotoma, but once this person has already been established as tame, oz lo tifter has shech vazera as a ziva habo achrela. Then the shech vazera will not potter the ziva that comes after it. Okay. She ain't told about several rap people commit a rabble maymar or a rabble maymar. I de chulsha who chazi the chazi probably because of his weakened status. Is how he, the reason why he saw says Tais says Klamer Hachem Rin and the Kerry Potter Ziva Abach Ra. The whole reason why, if a person would see Kerry Potter's Ziva that comes afterwards, Kol Meis Leis the first twenty four hours, next twenty four hours, Diko Mecha Shema Machmas Chalishos. Maybe this happened only because of a weakness state, um, and that's the reason why. However, Avol Mishnis Kakotoma. Once this guy is already established in this. Track record of Toma, Oino so Piter. That's not going to pot to him behind Unami time with Rabada Baraba. Okay. Fine. So maybe it was Idi Hulsha who the Chaz, Emily Rebel, Arbotanan, Gershinis Geyer, Metame Miyad Baziva. If you have a Ger who converts, the din is that he's Metama immediately Zov. So on this, Toysa <clears throat> says, There's no greater sickness than this. If you look in Toysa's, Mishum Chulsha, Gabi Geri Nami Neyma Hachi, De Eino Chal Chayli Gadam Zet, Dachi Hechi, De Bad Kina Naisa, Lifter Bekeri, the Mali Keri Shra Kashu Ayvik Chabim, Mali Shra Kashu Yisrael. It shouldn't make any difference if he's a Yisrael or an Ovi So why would it be that a Gershon Skyar is Matamba Miyad Baziva? We should say that when it comes to a Sheikh Mazera, oh, maybe the reason why he saw because he was sickness or weak. So therefore, all, all Ma'es Ace, if he saw carry any future Zav, won't, won't, he will not be Matamba Baziva. Then why don't we say the same thing by an Ovi who converts? Ain Lucha Chayla Gadamizet. There's no sickness greater than this. It doesn't mean he's sick, but it means it's totally out of his control. So, that we should say the same thing. Um, fine. El Tanayhi. The Sanya Sheikh Mazer Shal Zom Atamba Bamasa. Call me Ace Lace. When it comes to Sheikh Mazer, as we said, all from Ace Lace, uh, it will be Matama Bamasa. Caring. Rabbi Yoisi Aymer. Yoimai, the day. So Mike, we have to do with the Shmuel, but with the with the Shmuel, the Shmuel Rami, because Shmuel asks the contradiction in Pesuk Ksev. Ki yebacha ish asher lo yeh taher mikri lo ayla. You have a person who was not who was not taher toward night time. Ksev lefanois erev yirchatz mamayim. Toward evening he should uh, bathe. So man diar meisel eis daik mul lefanois erev. Veidach daik mikri lo ayla. Man diar mul lefanois erev. I hook sim micro lila. So what do you do with these tubes? So him harmalei urcha de kray lamasi belila. It's referring to the normal happenings, which is this occurs at night. Is what a person will typically see. Uh, see this. Okay. Question T A eleven. Haroi carry enu matama baziva kom esla es. So when a person sees carry, uh, he's not going to become z- a zav and anything afterwards the next twenty four hours. Ma nafki mi im hatam yishum chulsha v'avli kriyas oynis. It's like he saw it was an oynis. Oh, megzeres akasa. So he says im kvar niska kotoma. If again he was already has a chazak of toma, the oz oynis enu poiter. Then the oynis is not going to help. Or Gershnis Geyer, or Kerry, Kodim Shnis Geyer. If a person saw Kerry before he was in Geyer, Dish Chulsha, that's con- for, considered to be like an element of Chulsha again. So again, that should be another another Chiluk. So by a Gershnis Geyer, Metama Miyad Baziva, that shouldn't be the situation because it's something which was beyond his control. And therefore, the Din should, should be, T11, that. 
uh, it should, we, why are we saying that when it comes to a Zav, there's a Chiluk when it comes to an Oynes, well, Chayra, it should not, shouldn't make any difference. We're saying, oh, because is an Oynes, because if he was a carry, the next Meisel Ace, he doesn't, he's not going to be Matama. But if that's the truth, then you should say the same thing by a Ger. Therefore, that shows, that's the Navgim, if it's because of Chulsha, because it's an Oynes, or it's a Gzer Sekosav. It's a Gzer Sekosav, even if it's Chulsha, it's not going to make any difference. Uh, it'll still, it, he will become Tame. Or, again, if it's Niskak with Toma, the Oz Oynes ain't a Paiter. Okay. Let's see the last mission in the Smsechta. Says the Masnison. Nazar Hoya Shmuel. Regarding Shmuel Hanavi, he was also a Nazir. Just as it says, which a Chayra, that's referring to not being able to cut, cut your hair. So, so the fact that we have these two words linking, connected to one another, it must be that just like we know everyone knows, of course, Shimshon was a Nazar, so too, Shmuel was also a Nazar. Um, and that's it. How do we know he was a Nazar? For some reason, the Mepharsh has to say, as it says in Sefer Shof in Perakut Gimel. So, maybe the word Meira has nothing to do with the Nazirus over here. It's talking about the fact that he had no fear of people, right? Or, Ein Moira El Ashel Basim Adam. Maybe it just refers to fear of people. So, Armelie Rem the Horai, look for Nemar Biyamar Shmuel, that Shmuel said, Eich El, how can I, Eich El, how can I go? Misham Ashel Hargeni, the king is going to kill me. Shekvar Hai Ol of Moira Shel Basim Adam. He already had Moira Shel Basim Adam. So, it can't be Umar Lu Yal Al Raishai means that, that Shmuel did not have any fear. We know that he had Moira. He feared Shoal. So therefore, when it says Moira, that's talking about the Chiddush, that not only was Shimshon a Nazar, but Shmuel <coughs> was also a Nazar, says the Gemara. Armelia Rav As we continue on to this last daf, Chotu Vavayrch. You should grab and make a bracha. What does that mean? So Taisa says, Better that you should say the bracha than, and let someone else answer a and then the other way around. Grab what? So the Mafar says, Better that you should be the one that leads. He used to encourage uh, also that you should be the one who says the bracha. You tell me that means saying the bracha is better than saying amen. Saying amen is greater than saying the bracha. I can swear, that must be the case. Because the regular soldiers are the ones that pour their life onto the battlefields. However, it's the Gibor of Neitzchen, the people that come afterwards, the strong ones or the, the generals or the uh, kings are the ones that end up getting all the credit for the battle, even though they're not the ones who were engaged in the whole process. It's just the one who was at the, the end. So therefore, similarly, the bracha is like these soldiers and then Amain is at the end. So the end is what's most important. They're both something which is of value, says Taisus. You're going to get reward either way, if you say the bracha or answer remain to it. Better you to say the bracha first. So this is actually, which we say often, this ending is actually one of four places in Shas where we end off this way, which so far we've had in Bracha, Masechtas Brachos. We had it in Yevamos. Here we have in Nazir, and it's going to also be in Krisos, which is very interesting. That's actually the mnemonic, the Rashi Tevos of Bonayich, 
which is again brachos, nazir, yevamos, and krisos. Obviously, there must be an, another element of why when it comes to a nazir. So some say because just like a neder, he could be mater a naziris, especially when it comes to your wife. So therefore, because he could step in and intervene to have these things removed, that's a way of being marim sholom ba'olam. Had nolach akusim ein lahem nazirus. Shlikol amasach this nazir. Let's just look at one last question, then we'll stop, which is T T B twelve. Armulei rab luchi berei chotu vavarich. Ma savar hatana de polig velusvili lamahu lavarich. The Gadol Ha'ayin Amein Yoiser Minam Avarich that the other one is Chayil and says better to say Amein than to say the Bracha Adkan.